And now, just a few weeks ago, we have had, uh, we have created the post of a National Maritime Security Board in the MSCS. So, um, you know, uh, you can see how uh, this is uh, evolving and uh, a lot of effort and the resources have gone into making this uh, work. Uh, there were doubts uh, because in a parliamentary system, uh, because we are not a presidential system, uh, what is the role and the authority of the uh, NSCS? But the decision has been taken and it is still work in progress. So apart from the base of change of national security threats, I think we also have to deal with uh, not just the new threats, but also new forms of, uh, new types of weapons and new domains of contestation. And I would say uh, the new domains which are going to, which have already occupied center stage are data security, uh, cyber security, maritime security, space and artificial intelligence. This is not exhaustive but is an indicative list and these are some of the areas where I think in the last four or five years we have made remarkable progress. Not all of it is uh, known or uh, uh, written about but from where we were to today uh, there has been a fairly uh, dramatic increase in uh, resources, in uh, manpower uh, and in basically uh, focus of the government. But then we got a report from a, from a think tank uh, of another country and some American statistics came out that. They said that though much capitalism stands undermined, globalization is greater than ever before. And the statistics they say is that if you take trade, world trade, in a quantitative sense, despite pandemic, indicators are that world trade is very healthy. If you take internet usage, um, uh, more and more people are using the internet the world over. And the third, they said, is cultural exchanges through social media, healthier than ever before. This exchange and form of opinions really high prediction. We need to therefore organize ourselves, I feel, in a manner which is better designed to be able to take on in all domains and see how it uh, cross pollinates and what will be affecting other things. So that is still working in progress. More than 10, 12 years ago, we saw the power of the social media in the Arab rising. So all these uh, lead me to my question, or it is more of a worry that are these two liberties we enjoy, that is, individual liberty and the federal structure, is it compatible? with a nation state as it exists today or are they incompatible that if we continue to enjoy such liberties you know so this is a fantastic question i mean i was in the soviet union in 1984 uh, 1985 two years it was the soviet union at that time and in hindsight those were the last few years of the soviet union and it was as you can imagine the territory and it was one party the communist party and uh, what are today 15 countries were all part of the Soviet Union. So we used to travel around and we used to ask the republics, I mean, where, who gives you the money, how do you raise your taxes, How? what is the relationship between the republic and Moscow uh, and all these kind of things. And actually they were very, very uncomfortable answering those questions because I don't think um, either they had the answer or they were willing to share it with the foreign